Hey everyone, my name is Amel and you're watching Newsbreak. Let's see what's coming up on today's show. A scare on the International Space Station. Australia's biggest frog hunt. And a very expensive ingredient. But before we get started, you know what I'm going to say. And if you don't, I'll say it. Subscribe to our channel. Astronauts on the International Space Station have had a bit of a scare. They had to prepare to evacuate after a Russian space missile test destroyed a satellite, which created a huge cloud of space debris. Here's Joe. Hey, um, I suppose you blew up a satellite by any chance, did you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, you did. Well, you know that's caused a huge problem, right? Yeah, right now, Russia is getting a cosmic telling off. Yesterday, the country carried out a test of anti-satellite weapons, which involved blowing up one of their own old satellites with a missile. And the result was, well, what you would expect. You've created a huge mess up there, a, a cloud of destroyed bits of satellite. How do you think that makes others feel? Well, it's made others feel pretty angry, particularly the US. Russia's dangerous and irresponsible behaviour jeopardises the long-term sustainability of our outer space. And it hasn't done any favours for current sustainability either. The test created more than one and a half thousand pieces of debris, and astronauts on the International Space Station had to shelter in evacuation capsules as they passed through the debris cloud, because space debris, or space junk, is actually really dangerous. There's around a million pieces of space junk already orbiting Earth. And if it crashes into something, it doesn't go well. Thankfully though, all seven crew members on board the ISS got through it safely. More people have had to evacuate the New South Wales town of Forbes today. Residents there are preparing for major flooding because the Lachlan River is expected to peak tonight at more than 10 and a half metres. Emergency services have had to evacuate people from about 800 low-lying properties. It's Frog ID Week, which means Australia's biggest frog hunt is underway. Scientists want you to listen out for and record the sound of frogs. And Leela finds out why it's so important. So, what brings you in today? Our Aussie frogs face a number of threats, like climate change, bushfires, floods and disease. And Frog ID Week is an annual event all about checking up on them. One of the biggest challenges we face is that we actually don't know that much about frogs. Finding out how they're going is all about listening to them, quite literally. Every species has a different call, so you don't actually need to see the frog. All you need to do is hear the frog calling because they're actually yelling out what species they are. Using the Frog ID app, people all around Australia can record the frog sounds they hear. This creates a type of frog map for experts to analyse. Every single audio recording is submitted to the Australian Museum and there's a team of biologists, including myself, that will identify the calls in the recording. It's giving us the kind of information we need to help save our frogs. Please record anything that you think could be a frog calling because there's a lot of frogs that sound like insects. It can be really hard. Australia has more than 240 native frog species to listen out for. So you need to get out there with your phone record any frogs calling and you could even discover a new species. Now let me just check this croaky throat you say you have. There's no arguing that sometimes bigger really is better. Just like these next stories. Try to count how many people there are in this orchestra. I'll give you a hint, it's a big number. All up, more than 12,000 musicians in Venezuela got together to try to break the record for the world's largest orchestra. The current record's held by a Russian orchestra with a mere 8,000 musicians. So surely this impressive performance has got them beat. There's nothing quite like seeing a rocket blast off. And this one's from our own backyard. Yep, an Australian design, built and powered rocket has successfully launched from southeast Queensland. The test flight reached a height of more than 9 kilometres in less than 30 seconds. Big success. How much would you pay for this thing? Well, it's just been auctioned off for more than $150,000. You're looking at a very rare white truffle from Italy. 
The fancy fungus is extremely hard to find and among the most expensive ingredients on earth. All right, that's the end of another big episode of Newsbreak. But before you go, let's go out with a bang. Why don't you hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you tomorrow.